Okay, so uh, the the five classes of IP address are A, B, C, D, E, and uh, and D and E. Uh, D is going to be used primarily for multicast purposes. Like if you see uh, any address that starts with two twenty four dot anything, it's usually a multicast IP. Um, and then there's there's some of those that are flagged in there specifically for uh, very specific multicast purposes. But starting at the top, um, I guess that's actually on there. Um, anything that starts with one to one twenty six is going to be a class A address. This is for the first octet. Um, 127 is excluded from there because uh, it's it's reserved for loopback addresses. Uh, you know, 127, 000, or 001 being yourself. Uh, anything from 128 to 191 is going to be a class B address. 192 through 223 is going to be a class C. Uh, you know, we talked about multicast a second ago. 224 through 239 is going to be a class D. And 240 through 255 is a is a classy, e, and you probably really won't see any of them. Um, I doubt you'll get any kind of questions about them, unless it's like it, you know, an IP on the on the test. I doubt you'll get any questions about them, unless it's like this is uh, an IP address, you know, 240 dot something something something. What class is it? Um, is there any specific interval that the classes are divided? Yeah, it's uh, it's also powers of two, kind of. Um, like it's it's counting in reverse, but like you know zero zero is obviously not in there, but zero through one twenty seven would be uh, two to the seventh. Uh, one twenty eight through one ninety one is um, you know two to the s uh, two to the sixth, yeah, and so on and so forth. Um, and th that gets actually a little bit more clear when you start actually looking at the um, the network and host bits. So. Um, Class A, your first octet, all eight uh, binary values in that first octet are going to be your network. Everything after that is going to be host bits. Um, and it goes on like that on the, the class B and the class C. The first two octets are only network, last two are only host. Class C, uh, first three are network, and the last one is a host. And those are the those are the classful networks. It's important to be able to differentiate between a classful network and a classless or a variable length uh, network. So right here you see that you know the the class A ne class A networks has a total of 126. Class B has a total of 16,382. Class C has you know, a lot more, over two million. Um, and then it's also got a a lot of hosts, especially like if you only have a few networks. So for a class A you know, a classful class A uh, IP address, you've got 16 million hosts in there. So uh, there's no one that's going to need that many hosts on a network. You should really be segmenting that up. And that's when we start getting into VLSM and variable link subnet masking and, you know, breaking down these classful networks uh, into variable link subnet masks so that the, the IP ranges can be more eloquently uh, used. So basically, like the the network part of that um, is it won't change because it's specific to the network, and then the host, all those are can change because those are the actual devices connecting. Yeah, the the network is gonna be is gonna be set, and then all the the IPs that follow that are gonna be separated. So like you know, on a class A. range of you know, 0 to 255. So 
Okay, and this kind of goes over to the same thing that I was about to get into. Um, subnets enable you to break up large blocks of IPs into smaller, more manageable blocks. So these are the um, the default subnet masks for the A, B, and C class. And so, like I just showed on the ten dot, that's a that class A address. Your uh, your subnet mask for this is uh, .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .